Hey guys, it's Trill again. I've just woken up and <laughs> Valve released a new update today. Um, we have some new sticker capsules once again for the ESL1 in Cologne this year. And with that Valve also released a challenge. It's called the Pick'em Challenge and that's basically a betting system in CSGO. Right here you have the sticker capsules once again, legends and challenges stickers just like last year. And that's the Pick'em Challenge right here. You can gain one of these three badges, bronze, silver and gold. And you can get these by betting on the teams. So that's what that, that will look like down there. Let's say Team Dignitas is about to play, um, let's say the Copenhagen Wolves. And if you own a Team Dignitas sticker, you could place that in this match. And if your guess was right, you get three points. That's basically how that will work. Um, I think that's a pretty cool idea. I mean the downside on that is of course that you have to buy all of these stickers or yeah It's basically making money once again, I guess, but still I think that's a pretty cool idea Today I will start getting my first stickers right here gonna open six challenges and six legend capsules So yeah, let's see first challenges capsule um and to be honest, I don't even care if I get many holo stickers today. I just want to get as many team stickers as possible. And there we have our first one. It's the MTS Game God Wolf sticker. Pretty interesting logo right there. Next up the Legends capsule. Alright. Ah, oh, I just missed that <laughs> holo nip sticker but we get the cloud 9 sticker but that's all right all right let's see next one will be the copenhagen wolf sticker i'm actually just wondering how much these stickers will be worth on the market i mean there will be so many people buying them because of that pick em challenge gonna check on that later Let's see next legend sticker capsule. And it's another sticker I didn't have, the Team Dignitas sticker. Nice. Alright. Let's check those challenges capsule once again. Another one I didn't have that's going good so far. It's the London Conspiracy. Not sure if they will have a chance in the ESO 1 this year, but still. Then we have the Hellraisers. Alright, so, so far six capsules opened. I didn't get a single one two times. So that's going good so far. And there's our first holo sticker even. I buy power holo sticker. Nice. And again, a sticker that I didn't have so far. So that's going extraordinarily good so far. Next up, a Fnatic sticker. Alright, let's see. Four more caps used to go, and I didn't get a single sticker twice so far. Next up, we have the. What is it? Pet team? Dead team? It's the dead team. Once again, a sticker I didn't have so far. Pretty lucky right there. Next up, we have the Team Dignitas sticker. I think I got that earlier. Or did I? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Alright. Then we have another I by Power sticker. That's the one that I got in Holo earlier. And last capsule now. Let's maybe try and get another sticker that I didn't get. Let's see what is there 
Yeah, Nip, Virtus Pro, LDLC. Nice, and I get the LDLC sticker. Alright, sweet. I mean, for opening 12 caps used, I get 10 different um, team stickers. That's pretty good. And of course, a holo eyeball power sticker. So, yeah, I think this will be pretty interesting. I'm really excited about this pick em challenge that's up here. So, let's have a look at that maybe. And that's what that will look like. So, right here, for example, you have Nip. I could. Uh, make a pick on Nip right now, but I would have to own that sticker. And if Nip is going to win, I will basically get three points. Yeah, I mean, it's basically it's <laughs> all about making money once again, I guess. But still, I like this idea. I will definitely support that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everything is clear. And I will go back to sleep now. See you guys next time.